Hi, I'm Isiro Tukumbo Jaboro, simply known as TJ. I am a filmmaker, I am an award-winning uh, producer, director and writer. I've worked on a few projects which include uh, Saving Dreams, which is my first feature. Then I worked on uh, Believed in You, uh, which is the next one I did after Saving Dreams. Uh, it's actually a rework of Saving Dreams. Uh, then I, uh, my third project is uh, Molly's Love Story, which is uh, in post-production. And so, um, yeah, I'm a Toronto filmmaker based. Uh, I'm a filmmaker based here in Toronto. Black Canada is the Black Actor Guild of Canada. Black Actors Guild of Canada. And it's a platform which I founded uh, to encourage uh, actors and inspiring black actors here in uh, in Toronto and Canada at large. Uh, the reason why I uh, came up with uh, the Black Actors Guild of Canada is because there isn't a platform which I am aware of that is there for black actors. When I was doing the project Saving Dreams, uh, I believe this was 2015, and I had, because I wrote the script, and I had, uh, I had initially uh, created roles for black actors, you know. So, but when we were doing the casting for the project, uh, we find out that there weren't much black actors out there. As a matter of fact, very a handful of them who are really good in the in the industry. So, as a result, we had to now combat some of this roles which are originally for black actors uh, into other race you understand me so but initially i didn't i didn't really realize the reason for this you know it was later on uh, when i thought about it and did a bit of research and i found that there isn't much platform there isn't a platform for black actors you know, so then I thought about the uh, I thought about creating something for black actors. Now I want to I want to make it very clear: the, the bag, the Black Actors Guild Canada, is actually from an original idea which I which I started on Facebook over I think about five years ago. You understand me? Which is an, a platform that has uh, to do with uh, black act, black filmmakers. You understand me? So black bag is a uh, is a, is a subset of that umbrella of uh, guild for black actors or for black filmmakers in general, you know. And I believe with a platform like this, it will help to encourage our black actors as, and aspiring black actors out there here in Toronto, here in Canada at large, and uh, create opportunities for them. and. Uh, with bag, bag is, is is a platform that is there to not only just create opportunities, it's there to train, is there to um, serve our community, especially the black people in our community. So that's one of the ideas behind bag. I've come to understand that um, there are a lot of people who are interested in acting. I'm taking acting because we're talking about bag for now. There are a lot of people who are out there who are interested in acting. These people range from it could be doctors, lawyers, it could be teachers, it could be students, anybody, you know, um, who have the passion for acting. And you wouldn't know. It is when I started something like this, especially when I started my production, and then I see some of these people come for auditioning, some of them come for uh, background roles, and then I started this bag, and I realized that there are people who are, who are, you know, in who are significant people in our community who are interested in becoming an actor, also with other people who, in general. Who are interested so with a platform like this will help to encourage help to inspire such kind of people uh, to become good actors good black actors and we need that you understand me so uh, bag is here to stay bag members can be any black person you have to be black to become a bag member 
you know so uh, you have to be black from the black race you have to be based in Canada to become bad members we will extend membership to people outside of Canada uh, but at, as for now we are focusing uh, we're focusing on we are narrowing our focus on Canadians uh, Canada the uh, black people in Canada here residents re that re uh, reside here in Canada and that way we need to first of all establish this platform we need to build our foundation solid you know once our foundation is solid then we can now extend our outreach to other members just like we have the, the do in the, the Oscars uh, we have the do in the Canadian Screen Award and all that stuff whereby you have uh, uh, you have core members then you have other extend uh, other external members you know so these these are some of the plans we have but for now bag is for any black person who reside in Canada here that's what bag is for that's what bag is for short-term goals of bag is to um, establish the platform create a solid structure train black actors both current and expiring uh, actors create pet projects for them that will help them to uh, build their confidence in front of the camera you know so these are some of the uh, the short-term goals so in order to achieve this we're going to work with each other and try to figure out how this can be achievable but we'll be working with other filmmakers because you see you cannot you we cannot achieve the training of black black actors without including filmmakers you understand me you know so we're going to like, we're going to collaborate with filmmakers in 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 our community so with this uh, vast array of uh, filmmakers uh, coming together working on projects so we're talking about directors producers hair and makeup artists and uh, sound and all that coming together and working together and trying to create projects that will help these actors help to train these actors because like i like we had our meeting and i told some of these filmmakers we need to collaborate we need to come together to train these actors because if we don't do that we cannot we then we are not doing ourselves a favor but if we put our our differences aside our self-interest aside and come together and train these actors and encourage them it will be beneficial to we as filmmakers so this is a win-win for everybody the long term is to have our actors well trained and find and search for opportunities for them you know for example if we have a solid black market here in canada which will attract uh, filmmakers from africa filmmakers from Nollywood, filmmakers from the caribbean and other parts of the world where you have black filmmakers and all that stuff let's take Nollywood for example uh, the producers from Nollywood want to come sell their release their movies here in canada they will they will have to ensure that they have our actors uh, in as part of in part of their uh, as part of their project you understand so they have to cast some of our actors here just like it is required of us filmmakers here we must we have to cast a Nollywood uh, actor from and bring them here you understand me uh, in, in our project for it to be recognized for it to be attractive to the viewers over there likewise that has to be done here so we but in order to get to that state we need to build that solid structure and this is the long term well, this is part of the long term goal this is i mean it's beyond this but i'm just going to leave it uh for now so that uh just to give you an idea that with a solid structure we will have leverage you should join bag if you are interested in chasing pursuing your dream as an actor as a black actor you should join bag if you want to opportunity to advance your career as a black actor you understand yeah 
producers here, there are filmmakers here, there are directors here who are doing amazing, amazing stuff here. And every actor wants to be a part of a good project. There are all kinds of projects out there. There are quick projects, uh, skits and all that stuff. Yes, they are good to help, they are good to keep you busy, but you have to when you have to be if you want to be serious about your career, you have to now involve yourself in solid project, project that are well thought of, you know, that, that has a lot of planning behind it, that has solid uh, production quality, you know. So these projects are not cheap. They are expensive you know so for you to be part of this you have to put yourself in the right position you have to train yourself you have to help yourself you know so for those interested and those who have the passion of being a part of the uh, black actors guild of canada you should endeavor to join back to help you advance your career to help you build your confidence to help you build a solid platform you know because you see um agencies and production companies when especially when they are looking for a certain type of actor for example a black actor a black character in a in a movie they we we will bag will provide that platform that is already available for them to check our catalog and see the kind of uh, actors that fit their profile and then it's much easier for them so instead of them not being able to find this actor like I had that experience and then uh, convert an actor who is supposed to be a black race from black race to something to somebody else we will already have that opportunity that platform there for them to just go there check it out and then they can pick who they want to pick you have to invest in yourself and that includes invest in yourself financially you invest in yourself uh time wise you have to make some sacrifices you have to be dedicated to what you're doing if you want to be if you say you are an actor you have to you you, you need to have the ability to, to read the script understand the script memorize the script remember the script you understand the, you know so once you are able to uh once you're able to cultivate yourself into this this mold yourself into this the kind of actor you want to be, it's going to be a lot easier for you. I have had the privilege to work with um, some of Nollywood finest actors, you know, I've worked with uh, uh, Beverly Naya, she was an amazing actress and I know how how she, within the snap of the finger, she gets into character. I have worked with Jackie, Jackie Appiah, I saw how amazing she was, I have worked with uh, Desmond Elliott, I have worked with Kenneth Foley. I've worked with uh, Bobby Obodo, uh, an amazing guy. I've worked with uh, Linda Sifo, there's an amazing actress as well, you know. And I've worked with, uh, obviously, worked with Nosawa Baseki. And you can see how these actors, how the experience that they have. So it's a lot easy for me as a director to direct these actors and they read the script they understand the script all they need is just okay what do you want me to do what direction you want me to go how do you want this what is the interpret the the scene for them properly so there's clarity between both the actor and the director you understand me so it's a lot easier anybody can be one of these names that i have mentioned you understand me if you have the passion a lot of people want to be uh genevieve Genevieve worked hard. A lot of people want to be Omotola. Omotola worked hard. Rita Dominic worked hard. You understand me? We have Chita J4 who is in Hollywood. We have David uh, Oyelo who is in Hollywood. You know, we have Idris Haber. These actors started just like you. They had the, uh, the, 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 the aspiration to become an actor and they were inspired by other actors, you know, and today they are some of the leading actors out there. They work hard. You can do it. Here we have some actors who are coming up. You understand me? Queen Amina is another person that I know of, that I have worked and I have seen some of her work and I have worked with her. I am not just saying this because of I know her personally. I'm saying this because I see the quality in her. And you see, somebody like this with this quality who has already done it in the past, 
but because we don't have a platform readily available for her these skills just kind of like it's reserved somewhere but with bag we will start to bring out the queen aminas in the industry you understand me who we'll have it but they are just kind of conserved they're kind of wrapped up somewhere you know because there's no platform now you have a platform so i'm calling on you if you are black it don't matter where you're from you could be from africa you could be from the caribbean you could be black from any part of the world but you are based in canada you have to be based in canada you are welcome to join the black actor the actors guild of canada back canada it is for you you don't matter who you are you don't matter what organization you belong to bag is for every black actors we don't discriminate any black actors you're all welcome we need you to build this organization we need you we need you to build this gear together together collectively we can build a solid foundation that will be that will be the the be there for us a solid foundation that would create opportunity for us without you bag will be nothing with you bag will be everything this the I, my vision for this organization is to build it in such a way that we start getting funding from the government we start getting funding from other private sectors and all that and expand this on like this platform this platform will force product, pro producers and production company here in canada to create opportunity for our black people because guess what bag is our voice bag is the voice for every black actor whether you are, whether we, whether you, it don't matter if you if you if you if you're an older, uh, elderly black actor or you're a young black actor, middle aged black actor or you're a child actor, so long as you are you're black, bag is for you, bag is your voice. Come together, let's come together. Every black actor, you can be a part of any other game, but this is our own. We're gonna have a lot to do there's a lot to do there's a lot for us and let's come together and let's do it my advice to you join by by this for you